And as Chris mentioned, A.J. Brahma, who is the strength of this Robert Morris offense, will be able to get a start along with Charles Bain for the Colonials and for UIC. Same lineup as yesterday, Maurice Commander, Jamie Hale, as well as Tevion Kirk, who is fourth in assist in college basketball, Michael Diggins, as well as Big Rob Howard. So after that tip, UIC will have possession to start off our game. Glad to have you with us here on ESPN. UIC looking to go 7-4 on the season, looking for their fourth victory overall in Horizon League play. It's Tevion Kirk. Jamie Hale, the Australian. And they swing it to Howard on the right wing. 15 to shoot for the Flames. Kirk tries to drive the baseline. A hail for three. It's short. Ball on the floor loose. And that is going to stay UIC basketball. Something we're going to see from the Flames offense and why I was pointing out Tavion Kirk as we head into this matchup, Jonathan, is that his ability to get into the lane, suck in the defense, kick it back out to Jamie Ahale. Ahale missed that three-pointer, but Ahale is the Flames' best three-point shooter. He hit four threes yesterday in the contest. So watch for Tavion Kirk to get into the lane and then kick it out to his teammates open for three. Maurice Carander from Chicago went to Curie High School. They try to get it over top to Howard and a foul call right away. That's going to be on Charles Bain. Bain and Howard battling for position on the lower block. A little bit too much in the back, lower back there from Bain picks up the foul. Kirk with 12 points and 10 rebounds for UIC yesterday. UIC was held, Chris, to 32nd half points, which is the low for the Flames so far this season as Howard gets inside is 2-0 UIC. Active hands around the basket, offensive rebound, put back for Rob Howard. Colonials hadn't played a game since January 1st until they played last night and then lost against UIC, looking to even the score here this evening. Inside is Brahma. And Diggins tries to knock it off of Brahma. The ball still loose and into the hands of Ferris. A new line for the Colonials. John Williams. Ten to shoot. Here's Brahma. With five to shoot. Four, three, two. Brahma inside. And he is toppled by Howard. Hard foul there. Brahma trying to get inside. And the door was closed right there in the lane. Brahma just showed his pump fake there and got Robert Howard, in, Rob Howard into the air. Look at that. Just a little ball fake. Gets the defender in the air. He'll take the contact. He'll go to the foul line. A.J. Brahma, and they're going to call that on the floor. Inbound possession for Robert Morris. But Brahma, one of the elite scorers here in the Horizon League. Inside and a whistle and a foul called as John Williams tried to go down the baseline. Foul on the Flames. That's going to be on Maurice Commander. There's Andrew Toole, the head coach for Robert Morse. And close to 200 victories in his career. Always that pesky team, Chris, in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, they took, uh, they went to second round of the tournament in 2015. They would have made the tournament if there was a tournament last season, winning the Northeast Conference. John Williams, the 6'1 senior from Akron which is the same high school as LeBron James, St. Vincent, St. Mary. Free throw is good. Williams did not score yesterday, so it's good for him to get back on the scoreboard here, get on the scoring column. Tied it to, get, gives you the idea of how good defensively the Flames were on the guards. Commander, the Diggins. Diggins to Commander for three. Ball short, and Diggins with the rebounds. A new life for UIC. A hail inside to Howard and a whistle. Probably going to be on Bain on the inside. Nope. They're going to call it instead on uh, Tracy. He was right there as well. Take a look at Luke Yoklich, the head coach for UIC. Rob Howard.
Howard, the 6'8 redshirt senior from Gary. Six points, two rebounds yesterday. Free throws good. In this administration, Chris, it seems like Howard's looking for a shot more, a lot more aggressive than we saw in years past with UIC. Absolutely. Uh, Rob Howard from three. He's eight for nine on the season, uh, shooting a incredible 88%. But really, uh, the, the meat and potatoes of his game is down low defensively and then on the offensive glass, being able to put it back up and, and bow for position down low like we just saw in that last possession. Tracy inside to Brahma, and the lay-in is good. So Brahma gets his first two, and then we're tied at four. Colonial's bench making some noise, trying to provide some energy for their teammates. Here's Diggins for three. In and out, no good. Tough luck and a loose ball foul. That's going to be on the Colonials. First time we mentioned Michael Diggins. He had a fantastic game last night. 16 points, six rebounds. Shot two of three from the three-point lineman. And the way I liked his offensive game coming to him last night was he was patient. Talked about that in the post-game show, how he just allowed the transition game to come to him. He allowed the three-point shots to come to him, some passing around the perimeter, taking advantage of open shots. And we really saw the best of Michael Diggins last night. Here's Commander from the baseline. And a foul call. Smart possession by Commander to get that inbounds pass and go up with it right away. We'll see the inbounds pass here. Commander off the screen. Howard sets it. Sets and sh the shot right there and the foul. Commander to the foul. So Ferris comes in, draws the foul. Charles Bain will sit down with two fouls. Commander to the foul line. Commander with six points, three assists, two rebounds, 4.7 points a game for UIC. We talk so much about Tavion Kirk at the guard position, Chris, but Commander brings a little bit of something different. You know, Kirk is this combo guard that the Flames have, but Commander likes to facilitate. Yeah, and both in the backcourt, really looking for their teammates, being able to uh, kick eyes open, penetrate, and then kick out to the three-point shooters and dig in a hail and even Howard at times this season. 10 to shoot as Brahma goes to the lane and falls short, rebound controlled by Howard. Looks ahead to Hale on the right wing. Kirk down the lane will stop. And now to Dickens, they swing it, a Hale. Right corner, Kirk for three, switch! Kevion Kirk knocks down the three from the right corner and it's nine for UIC. Four passes off of the fast break around the perimeter. Tavion Kirk buries it from three in the corner. Energy coming from that Flames bench now. From the corner is Ferris, no good. And the rebound Flames. Tavion Kirk from Joliet. Inside it goes to Howard. Howard will stop, go inside at a whistle. Foul probably is going to be called on Spear on the inside. Howard showing patience in the lane there. Yeah, that little hesitation before he went up with it, just a second is why Spear picked up the foul there underneath the basket. So Howard will go back to the foul line. You see this Flames team, Chris, and you see the size, right, with Howard on the team with Jacob Wiley, who's uh, going to come in the ball game now with Diggins. So Bain with the two fouls, Flames can capitalize with their length. Yeah, they really can. And, and that's something that we, we've seen as of late here in the Horizon League schedule. And I know the Flames are off for about a couple weeks uh, with some cancellations of games. But the depth down low will really be a benefit of this team. It's what we saw when they faced off against Oakland a couple weeks back. Ball goes out of bounds. That is going to be, it's going to stay Colonials basketball. So 20 on the shot clock. Getting close to 60 minutes left here in the first half. The Flames are 11 for Vanna. You know, we're really seeing the defense step up early on. Luke Yaklich talked about it in his post game last night. The resolve and grit after two losses last weekend to come out last night with a fantastic defensive performance. Down the lane is Tracy and he scores. Tracy with his first two and it's 11-6 
UIC. Howard backs in left of the lane. And the Flames will reset. The right side is a hail. A hail for three. All short and a rebound out of bounds. And that's going to be Colonial's basketball. And a timeout on the floor. 11-6 UIC with the lead. 15-31 left in the first. Big guys. It doesn't mean the Colonials are oversized or anything. It's just the opponents that they face tend to be a lot bigger. Now, that wasn't the case yesterday. Robert Morris a job only being outscored points in the paint by UIC by six and they actually out rebounded UIC by one so it'll be interesting to see how physical Robert Morris is the rest of this game especially with the start that UIC's gotten off to there's our injury report brought to you by UI health changing medicine for good inside is spear and a chance now for a three-point play to follow up on what Joe is uh, talking about with Robert Morris you know AJ Brahma in the guide is listed as a guard forward yet in the horizon league he is playing mainly players who are forward centers in the, in that situation as you see a nice layup there from spears so yeah for robert morris this is going to be a situation where they're going to have to match up against some of the bigger bodies here in the horizon league and we'll see if the uic flames can take advantage of that situation as we see braylon bridges entering the game for the first time tonight also uh Sumnik is in the ball game now for the Colonials. He will replace Brahma, giving him a chance to rest. And it'll be Khalil Spear to the foul line, the 6'7 forward from the Colony in Texas. And the junior hits the free throw. So completes a three-point play, and it's 11-9. Flames with the lead. Glad to have you with us here for the second game of this two-game set. Flames took care of business, winning 67-53 yesterday. It's a deflection. And there's Bridges. Bridges against Snoop Sumnick, and there's a whistle. Braylon Bridges last night had 11 points in 13 minutes of action. He went four of six from the field. He's missed a couple of games. He was uh, he missed four games. Last night was his first night back. Some good production from Braylon Bridges last night. Traden Williams and Cameron Wilbon in the ball game now for the Colonials. With under 15 to play. Ought to be young again to come back from the injury that Braylon did. He's walking around in a walking boot, back on the floor, providing a lot of offense for this Flames team. There's a deflection, and that goes in the hands of Wilbon. Backside help defense from Wilbon to get that steal. Tracy into the front court. Trayton Williams inside, and the layup is short for Spear, goes back up, misses it, tipped and volleyed right into the hands of Maurice Commander. Here comes Commander for the Flames. A hail for three. Tipped right back in the hands of Kirk. Second chance here for UIC as Diggins to the baseline. Kirk to a hail for three. Switch! A hail for three, and it's 14-9 Flames. Left side of the basket, Tavion Kirk. How did he see Jamie a hail in the corner? He was falling down, fires that off to the corner. A hail hits the three. Fantastic pass. Nice shot from a hail. Sumnik at the top. And that's a foul off the ball. You saw that on the left of your screen there between Tracy and Kirk. Watch this pass from Kirk. Falling through the lane, kicks it to the corner, opposite corner for Jamie Hale. steps into it and buries the three-point shot. On the offensive side for Robert Morris, Jonathan, what they're trying to do the last couple of possessions is they're trying to feed into the block. They, they have a uh, either Spear on the block, they had uh, Brahma on the block a couple of times before he left the ball game. They're looking for an entry pass on the lower block, trying to start their offense from there. Brian Taylor into the ball game now for UIC to replace Kirk. Turning the corner is Williams. He has the ball now. Steps into a shot, misses it. Rebound saved and out of the hands of Braylon Bridges. Here comes Commander to try to jumpstart the offense here for UIC. 
14-9 at UIC with the lead. A hail tries to get it inside. And we got an offensive foul call on the Flames. It'll be the arm extended on Braylon Bridges trying to create position down low on the block for the entry pass. Not much of an argument there from Bridges as he heads back on defense. So two fouls for Bain for the Colonials and two for Howard so far in the contest. It is 14-9 UIC with the lead with 13 minutes left here in the first half. Trayton Williams against Commander. There's John Williams. Brahma, one of the more prolific scorers in the NCAAs. As Williams goes to the baseline, Trayton couldn't get that to go, goes out of bounds. It'll be Flames basketball. I know people will look at that box score yesterday, Chris, and say, well, you know, Brahma got pretty much his numbers yesterday, right? 19 points and 14 mm -hmm. rebounds. It was a struggle in the first half. He was able to come out of it and be able to provide some offense in the second half, but he was really the only heartbeat for the Colonials yesterday offensively. And the focus from the Flames was take away the three-point shot. You heard Michael Diggins talk about it in the postgame. You heard Luke Yakovich talk about it in the postgame. If you take away the three-point shot from this Robert Morris Colonial team, they are a lot easier to beat, and that was something they did yesterday to success, only giving up one three-point made last night. Off the ball, that's going to be a foul on Diggins after that sweeping hook missed by Bridges. That's going to be his first foul. Diggins fouled out of the ball game yesterday. Kirk will come in to replace Commander. Like we see with a lot of college games, not miss, maybe not as much in the NBA, but definitely in college, you hear the bench trying to provide a spark, trying to provide energy. Because of COVID-19, there are no fans here at Cred Union 1. Here's Brahma. Spinning and turning and firing and missing his will bond. And a foul call right there. And that foul is going to be assessed to Michael Diggins. So he's got two quick fouls here as there's a timeout on the floor. Under 12 to play, 14 as well. The Flames will go on the road. Important to be able to get a couple of these at home, Chris. And then see what you do on the road against uh, Youngstown State and Northern Kentucky. Big four games set there on the road. Youngstown State struggling a little bit. They dropped the weekend series against Oakland this week weekend, but we know that Northern Kentucky is always good. They have, and Youngstown State has some good scores as well. This is a fun Horizon League season that I don't think many of us thought we would get, and it's enjoyable that we can have these back-to-backs because it's fun to kind of see how the weekend flows between two games in back-to-back -back settings. 14-10 UIC with the lead. Taylor for three. Tracks down his own rebound. Kirk tries to get the ball, but John Williams takes it. Sumnick inside for the dunk. So the freshman from Green Bay with two. That's 14-12 Flames. Kirk is on the right wing. Bridges spins and turns. Foul called on Sumnick. Like that first dribble from Bridges to set up the spin move back towards the right side of the paint. You see the fast break here from Robert Morris, pass from Brahma, Sumnick with the dunk. So Braylon Bridges will go to the foul line for UIC. Bridges, the 6'10", Richard Jr. from Atlanta. 61% from the field so far this year. 11 points and one rebound yesterday. Good to see him back on the floor. He brings a unique skill set, Chris. We watch a lot of games. You don't see a back-to-the-basket guy that is from the foul line down effective and shooting at that kind of percentage. You know, something else I was thinking about when looking at the stats for Bridges over the course of the season, so many bigs feel a need to try and be guards these days. Uh, on the season, Bridges, zero for zero from three-point land. <laughs> You know, like, and, and I say that as a compliment because he knows where he needs to be, and he needs to be in the paint, on the block, a face-up move, you know, on the defender. He's not a big who's trying to be a guard. And I think that that is what adds benefit to this Flames offense. 
the right wing is Commander. And Kirk will reset with 10 on the shot clock. Kirk finds the seam and scores. Kirk to the basket and the 16-12 Flames. Patience to find the hole in the defense. A little pop shot there from Tavion Kirk. Brahma knocks it down. Uh, Brahma with the basket and 16-14 Flames. Fourth point of the night for Brahma and that looked like the first time he was in rhythm on offense for the Colonials. Kirk spins his way to the left baseline. Diggins against Brahma. Trying to get a pass over the top to Bridges. A turnover and it'll be Colonials basketball. Right there from Michael Diggins, you want to pass that on to Commander, who's on the right side, three-point length, and you be, you're you able to then have an inbounds pass to Bridges on the block with a little bit easier entry than what was attempted there. Bridges didn't even move. <laughs> he's, he's just so used to being bent over and trying to be able to get into the pivot. He didn't know, to, didn't know he had to stand up straight. It was one of those where, where if that was pass interference, they would call it off because it was too far over the head, right? Five to shoot for the Colonials. Tracy misses the three, and Commander with the rebound for the Flames. Here they come in transition. Commander loops a pass to Kirk in the left corner. Kirk on the baseline. Diggins for three. And the rebound controlled by Cam Ferris. 16-14, Flames with the lead. Under 10 to play here in the first half as Diggins with the steal. Diggins inside, off the glass, no rebound, Brahma. Tracy inside, it goes to Sumnik for the dunk. Well, Sumnik with four and we're tied at 16. Dante Tracy able to take it all the way into the lane and drop it off to Sumnik. Another slam dunk in the paint for Robert Morris. Commander against Ferris. A hail will swing it to Diggins. Five to shoot. I'm not sure if Diggins is aware. Wiley, the jumper no, and the rebound, Brahma. You can definitely sense the defensive intensity from the Colonials picked up over the course of the last couple of possessions. Making life tough for the Flames offense. John Williams, and that's going to be an offensive foul. That's going to be on Sumnik. That's his... See how many fouls he has. That's his third foul, Chris. For the dump off pass, slam dunk, and transition for the Colonials. Khalil Spear in the ball game for the Colonials. Spinning and turning and firing is Kirk, and he gets it to roll. 18 16 Flames. I like that play from Kirk because they've had, the Flames have had a couple of tough offensive possessions. He took it by himself into the lane, make sure he could get a layup. Spear thought about it and gives it to Brahma. A higher percentage shot is successful. And we're tied at 18. Left block turned around there from Brahma. He had a mismatch with Kurt. He's probably going to score in that possession most times. Commander. All right, give it to Wiley. Kurt for three. The rainbow goes for not the rebound, Brahma. Flame shooting 31% from the field. Robert Morris with momentum shooting 43%. Ferris inside to Brahma. And the sweeping hook is no good. And tipped in and picked up by Kirk. Flames bench wanted a foul hook on Brahma off of that spin move in the, in the lane. Inside to Diggins. Wiley. And a foul call. I think it's going to be on Wiley. Yeah, it will. 
and it'll be clearing out underneath the basket going up for the log on to roti.com that's roti.com or head over to your local roti location and use the promo code flames pita to get a free chicken pita sandwich this offer is only available at chicagoland roti locations must be redeemed either today or tomorrow the game and order must be placed through roti.com or in person at a chicagoland roti location no other purchase is necessary at the foul line is Brahma as we go to Joe Brand. Joe? We've seen limited time from Braylon Bridges the past two games. When he was taken out, he was doing some side lunges with athletic trainer Jenny Wilms. And then right after that, Jenny Wilms made him shake her hand, basically agreeing, you are okay to go back in, right? That's the impression I got. Bridges on the end of the bench. I wouldn't be surprised to see him come back in eventually. All right, Joe, thank you. Bridges scoreless so far here in the contest. One... Uh, attempt from the field, 0 for 2 from the foul line, and five minutes of action for the UIC Flames. So Brian Taylor will go to the foul line here. The foul was on Ferris, that's his second. And the sophomore from Detroit will step to the line. In and out, no good, and rebound Brahma. Flames shooting 27% from the field, 2 for 10 from 3. Robert Morris with momentum, as we've documented here, 41% shooting. They have not, not uh, let's see, zero for three from three so far. For the baseline, and Tracy misses it, and a whistle. They can call down Kirk. Yeah, it's on Kirk. Wow. Let's take a look at this. Diggins contest on the shot. Kirk and Brahma underneath the basket. He had the forearm there, Chris. Yep. Just any kind of contact, right? So Brahma will go to the foul line. He's got eight points and four rebounds. He'll have another. That's Tavion's second foul on the night. Something to kind of keep your eyes on with six minutes left here in the first half. Second free throw is good. 22-18, Colonials. Maurice Commander will replace Kirk. Right on cue. So two fouls apiece for Rob Howard and Kirk. It's the foul trouble so far for UIC. Six minutes left here in the first half. Flames down three. Commander. And the rebound, Spear. Here at the top. Here's John Williams for three. And the rebound, Wiley. Michael Diggins will swing it to a hail on the left side. Tend to shoot for the Flames with Commander. Commander will float one up, and the rebound, Ferris. Nothing doing there for the Flames offensively. Commander was trying to get Spear to come out and guard him on the perimeter so he could drive by him, but Spear didn't quite commit enough. Foul called on Wiley as Tracy tried to get to the basket. You know what I'm saying on that? Like, because Spear, if he comes all the way out past the three-point line, Commander can then race past him. As we see Tracy going towards the lane, left-hand side. Wiley picks up the foul him with the body but you know as a small guard you're trying to pull out the big to pass the three-point line because you know a race to the rim you can beat that big especially if you get past with that first step Tracy next down the first Dante Tracy the six-foot junior from Orlando 58% free throw shooter did not score in yesterday's contest and some wholesale changes here as Trayton Williams is in Along with John Williams. So Cameron Wilbon into the ball game, and so is Charles Bain. 24 18, Robert Morris with the lead.
Inside it goes to Bridges. He scores and a foul. Bridges comes right in, and now a chance for a three-point play. Beautiful seal-off move by Braylon Bridges. Get the defender on his backside. Inbounds pass, take a look. Puts it off the glass and in, and the foul. Bridges doing a great job in the paint, sealing off his defenders, being able to create that inside position. Easy, too. Bain just came to the ball game to try to provide a spark. Has to leave now because he's got three fouls, and Brahma didn't get a chance to really get a rest. He goes right back in the ball game. So Braylon Bridges to the foul line. You know, Yaklich takes out Kirk. A couple possessions there offensively. Looks like the Flames are in a bit of a mess. You put Braylon Bridges into the ball game, and now you have a stabilizing force where on offense, you know, dump it into Bridges, allow him to seal off down low, and then you can kind of play off of that while Tavion Kirk is, is on the sidelines. 24-21, Robert Morris with the lead. John Williams inside of Brahma, missed the dunk. Here come the Flames. Diggins, pass to a hail, inside to Bridges. Bridges against Brahma, spinning, turning, firing and missing, and the rebound Brahma. Traden Williams, Finds the seam, and the flying one handers a beauty. So Traden Williams with the basket. That's his first two in his 26-21. Colonials with the lead. It looked like he was heading towards the free throw line. Cross over, able to get his way into the paint for two. Brian Taylor knocks over Tracy in an offensive foul. And a timeout on the floor. 3.46 left. Can the Flames get back into this one in the first half? Find out next on ESPN. Points. We got no points from Tracy and also from John Williams combined for the two guards. And there's a different story here tonight. Absolutely. And UIC had a focus last night on taking away the three-point shot. And the balance of going back-to-back -back in these contests. <laughs> Big dunk for Brahma. Brahma uh, getting up strong in the... Colonials up seven. The, the balance of, of two back-to-back -back games uh, each weekend for the Horizon League schedule is this. You know, you kind of expect Robert Morris to come into this game trying to find that three-point shot and improve on what they had last night. Instead, they're trying to get everything in the paint close to the basket, and it's actually working. Yes, sir, and a foul. Bridges going up strong, and a chance for a three-point play. That's going to be on Brahma. Boy, the patience, the timing for Braylon Bridges on the inside. Five points here in the first half. You're right, Jonathan. His patience is fantastic down low. Is there any way for you to take, like, the HD out of your screen and, like, bring it to, like, Technicolor or, like, <laughs> black and white? Because that's a black and white game that we're seeing right there. We don't, we don't get, I mean, it's a high percentage shot. But if you're effective, if you're shooting 60% from the field, and that's where you get your bread and butter, your bread and butter, you'll take that. Braylon Bridge is a true big in college basketball. Something that seems to that's a traveling call. Be on its way out, traveling from Brahma in the lane. 28-24, Colonials with the lead. Claim shooting. Brahma leading Robert Morris with 12 points. Flames trying to close the gap here to end the first half. Commander for three. Swish! Commander knocks down the three from the right wing. And the Flames are within one. We were talking about patience with Braylon Bridges. How about Maurice Commander with waiting for the screen to be set. Takes two dribbles and fires off a three. Here's Wilbon. The jumper is good. 30 27. Wilbon scores. He has three. Two minutes left here in the first half. Diggins over the top to Bridges against Brahma and scores. Braylon Bridges, right place, right time. 
there's nothing Robert Morris can do when Bridges is on the right side block and then they swing the ball around the perimeter and then he has the inside position on the other block. There's nothing they can do defensively. Brahma, long two no. Rebound, a hail. Flames down one. Commander against Williams. Finds a seam down the lane. It's underneath the basket and a foul. Commander attacking from behind. Wilbon. Gets a little contact, sending Commander to the foul line. Wilbon on the foul. I love Wilbon. As Commander will go to the foul line. It's not Wednesday. Commander with five points. And the free throw missed. Commander from Curie High School went to Chattanooga last year. 4.7 points a game. And the free throw is good. Tied at 30. Williams, Wilbon, no. Rebound, Commander. See what the Flames do here offensively as Luke Yoklich, the head coach for the Flames, says slow it up. Diggins at the top. Inside to Bridges. Bridges spins, turns, and the floater is short, and the rebound, Brahma. Brahma was holding on for dear life. Got away with one there as the basketball just rolled off the rim. Tracy raises up with the jumper. And a foul called. That's going to be on the Colonials. Flames basketball. Fouls on Wilbon. So that will be his second. See Commander and Bridges, two players who have taken over here as the Flames have come back late here in the first half. Taylor misses the free throw. Checking in the ball game now is Khalil Spear. Comes into your screen there. And he replaces Wilbon. So one of two on that trip. Here comes Jacob Wiley to replace Bridges. And a timeout on the floor. 33 and 8, 10 seconds left, and the Flames up one. Gritty defense. And that's something that they showed in the second half of last night's contest. You know, something that Luke Yaklich talked about from last weekend is they didn't do a good job against the three, and it was an attack on their culture as a program. Last night they were much better and they're doing a good job tonight as the Colonials are 0 for 3 from 3 tonight. There you see the shot and game clock differential. As Tracy will take his time. 10 on the clock. 5 to shoot. 4 to shoot. Great tee. Inside. Turnaround jumper. Brahma no. And the rebound of Hale and the Flames will just dribble it out. And that's the way the first half will end. Michael Diggins, a big fan of that defensive stop. It was just, okay, two seconds left on the clock. We're done. Let's go to halftime. Morris has been doing their damage. Uh, points in the paint, 16 points for Robert Morris at 12 for the UIC Flames. And those 16 points are big for the Colonials in the paint. So, you know, denying the post play for the Colonials, I think, will go a long way. And also continue to close out and play great defense on the perimeter as well. It's something that the Flames are known for. Well, the Colonials will have possession to start things here as Spear tries to go down the baseline and misses it and the rebound Rob Howard. Howard did a good job there contesting the shot while not fouling as Spear attacked the rim. Kirk to Michael Diggins, the cousin of Skylar Diggins, as he goes in and scores. 
No foul call, but the basket is good. It's 33-30 UIC. Aggressive drive there from Diggins. Guy like the way he's starting the half off hot. It's John Williams to Spear at the top. A give and go to Williams. 15 to shoot for the Colonials. Colonials looking to go three and two in Horizon League play. Flames looking for their fourth victory in conference play. Foul's going to be on Diggins. That'll be his second foul. They get fouled out of the game yesterday. Only foul trouble we see here early on is Diggins now with two, Howard with two, Kirk with two. AJ Brahma, one of the best shooters in college basketball. Inside to Tracy, the layup is missed. Rolled right off the rim, and Commander with the rebound. Michael Diggins. Now to Howard inside. The shot is good for Rob Howard on the inside. 35 30 UIC. See two possessions for the Flames. Both big men. Howard Diggins attacking the basket. Williams going up. Commander digs it out. Howard to a hail. Now back to Kirk and he'll set it up. Kirk against Dante Tracy with 15 to shoot. Diggins loses the handle, goes out of bounds. It'll stay UIC basketball with four on the clock. Diggins digging it out in the corner, able to throw it off a colonial. Well, stay Flames ball. It's always tough when you're a guard and you try and pass it down to a big off of that pick and roll, and you kind of leave the bounce pass low so it doesn't bounce as high because Diggins really had to bend down to, to grab that and try and find his gather on the basketball. Four to shoot. Howard puts up the jumper. Rebound, Brahma. A.J. Brahma, the 6'7 senior from California. Averages 20 points a game. And I have something to say before this game is over. There he is on the right side. 15 to shoot. Williams. Rebound snatch out of there by Kirk. Here comes T. Kirk for the Flames. A hail. Now Michael Diggins against Brahma. Diggins off the glass and good. Michael Diggins using the glass and the Flames up seven. Diggins knows his spot. He knows on that corner on the block that he can get up a shot off the glass. Nice job by Michael Diggins. John Williams. And Spear. Brahma inside the Spear and a whistle. Good pass, pass there by Brahma trying to get it on the interior. Yeah, he rose up like he was going to fire off a shot, and on the approach, he was able to lay that in. Got three fouls now on Diggins. And Spear will go to the foul line. Khalil Spear, the 6'7 forward from Texas, a 45% free throw shooter. Spear with three points tonight. Free throw's good. Here comes Jacob Wiley in for Diggins. Robert Morris, located in Moon Township, Pennsylvania. That's 16 miles from Pittsburgh. Second free throw is missed, and the rebound, Howard. against Tracy. Now Commander and Ferris. Wiley tries to get over the top to Howard and is taken away. Williams inside goes out of bounds. It's going to be UIC basketball. 
And I'll tell you what, Andrew Toole, as you see at the top of your screen, he is not happy with that call. The head coach for Robert Morris. Williams a little slick there with the pass. He laid it off nicely, but it seemed like Spear wasn't ready to collect that underneath the basket. It just went out of bounds for Robert Morris. Kirk down the lane. Commander for three. Rebound Brahma. Brahma with seven rebounds tonight. Tracy. Now to Williams. They swing it. A three wide open, and, and there it is for Cam Ferris. So the first three of the game for Robert Morris comes with 15 and some change left here in the game, and it's 37-34 Flames. Back-to-back -back possessions. Williams with good passing. Finds Ferris. Commander with the layup. Commander inside, and it's 39-34 Flames. Flames, 39% shooting so far in the contest. Out of bounds, it's going to be Flames basketball, and a timeout on the floor. 15-22 left for the ball. What's the best way to spend a Sunday at home? Watching dogs, of course. This Finds a hail. Roti, bucket for three. Thanks to Roti for being, bringing us that delivery of the game. Flames fans, head to Roti, R-O-T-I dot com to order fresh and flavorful Mediterranean for delivery tonight. Jonathan and Chris and Joe with you here at Creative Union One Arena in Chicago. For Horizon League basketball, the Flames up five. Inside is Commander and a whistle. Foul will be assessed to Cam Ferris. That's his third foul. And Commander will go to the foul line. Got to give credit to Maurice Commander. Tonight, eight points, two of seven from the field, six rebounds, one assist, Jonathan. But really, taking command of the offense, especially when Tavion Kirk had to go to the bench in the first half because of foul trouble. Here comes Wilbon, and he will replace Ferris. Braylon Bridges is going to check in here, too. He's probably going to get Wiley here at some point. Free throws missed. Rebound Wiley. And a new life here for the Flames with 15 minutes left for the game. Inside, Ooh. the dunk is missed by Howard. And a whistle. That's going to be on Sumnik. Let's watch this again. Kirk to Howard goes up high. It's the rim. Sumnik's going to get a call for the foul. So Howard to the foul line. And a free throw good. Can the rim get a a foul in the box score there? Coach, sure. Well, I, I'm sure that the Colonials would agree with you well, because I, they don't feel like Sumnick made the foul. I think Andrew Toole and the Colonials have a, a valid argument there. Missed the free throw. Flames plus six in the second chance category. Inside is Brahma, and the foul on the Flames. Brahma knows that that's how the Colonials are going to have to stay in this game. Get into the paint, get to the foul line. Did you see a cut dive to the paint? That's where he meets Howard, picking up the foul. A.J. Brahma, one of the best players here in the Horizon League, Jonathan. He's fourth in field goal percentage, fourth in rebounding in the league. He's the leading scorer in the conference, uh, the preseason poll. He was on the All Horizon second team heading into the season this year. He is playing fantastic basketball. He's explosive. He can he can get at the rim uh, in multiple different ways. And Brahma will have another as we go to Joe Brand. Joe? Brahma is also from the same high school as Charles Leno Jr. Good call, Joe. It's good stuff. Joe's been up for a long time today. 40, I, see, 40, I see him laughing in the fir <laughs> first row. You can see him right underneath the score, uh, the shot clock on the basket up there in the first row. 41-35 Flames. 
Charles Leno. All right. Yeah, the broadcast went to a screeching halt there as Kirk goes up and scores. So Kirk I thought we were done with the Bears for the week. <laughs> Kirk with the basket. 43-35 plays with the lead. Yeah, he's been up since six. Radio, radio TV. I love it. <laughs> Here's Brahma. In the corner, Tracy for three. Tipped in volley in the air and picked up by Kirk. Now, Kirk has it. Kirk for the Flames. To the corner oh. and a whistle to step out. Yeah, Commander was on the sideline as the pass came to him. So here comes Trayton Williams for the Colonials to replace John Williams. It's so unnatural that there are no fans here at Creighton Union One Arena, and we've seen many players step out of bounds on the sidelines throughout the season, especially as they're trying to get into that corner spot for the three-point shot. You know, you're, you're so used to having people sitting right on the court. Ball goes out of bounds. Williams trying to connect to a pass to Tracy. A turnover, and it'll be Flames basketball. Six turnovers now for Robert Morris. Here's a hail for three. And the rebound corralled by Trayton Williams. Here's a three. No good for Tracy. And T. Kirk with the rebound. Six to shoot for the Flames. Over the top to Bridges. The sweeping left-handed hook is no good. And the rebound, Brahma. Payne played some good defense on Bridges there. Wilbon for three. Wilbon scores. Uh, it's 43-38 Flames. See Trajan, uh, trade in Williams uh, with that dribble drive, being able to suck in the defense with him to be able to kick it back out to Wilbon. Open for three for the Colonials. 43-38, Flames. Commander finds the seam and scores. Maurice Commander with the basket. 45-38, Flames. Bain steps into a three. Here come the Flames. Kirk trying to get down low to Bridges. That door is shut, and we have a whistle. That's going to be a foul call on Bain. He's all over Bridges. And a timeout on the floor. Flames up 45-38. Under 12 to play from Chicago. Four. Three-point shot. Good for the Flames. Xfinity has the fastest internet in Chicago to keep you connected. Head to Xfinity.com for more details. Here's Joe Brand. Joe? The message continues to be, be physical for the UIC Flames back in the first half. D. Brown was saying, get physical to where they have to follow you. Luke Yaklich looked right at Tavion Kirk in that last time out and said, keep driving. All right, Joe. And Kirk gets a bucket there right at the rim out of the timeout. Defensive misstep from Robert Morris. Kirk with nine points and nine on four or five shooting. 15 to shoot for the Colonials. Williams turns the corner, goes up and scores. So John Williams with the basket. He's got four, and it's 47-40 UIC. A hail gets it into Bridges quickly. Inside to a cutting Kirk for the lay-in. Kirk with the basket, and it's 49-40 Flames. That's what Yaklich wants. Kirk back-to-back -back buckets right at the rim. Trayden Williams to Wilbon. Here's John Williams. He dumps it down low to Brahma and a foul call. Let's see if that's going to be a hail or Diggins. That's going to be a hail. A bit defensive misstep for, there for the Colonials. As Kirk was just setting screens, doing his work underneath the basket, able to Flash wide open underneath the hoop for two. 
you know, Rama's having a nice game, 13 points, but he's really, like you said last night, it was tough to get to that point that he had last night, 19 points, 14 rebounds. This is a tough 13 points and eight rebounds tonight for A.J. Brahma. That's what good defense will do, right? Absolutely. And, you know, that's where you look at Michael Diggins, you look at Braylon Bridges, you look at Jacob Wiley, uh, a lot of different players for the UIC Flames guarding, defending A.J. Brahma. Bonatti in the ball game now for Robert Morris. And Wilbon will sit down. Robert Morris joined the Horizon League last year, July of 2020. Ten of the 16 athletic programs will compete in the Horizon League. Brahma and knocks it down. 49 41, Flames the lead. There's Kirk at the top for the Flames. Kirk loses the handle, and a foul will be called on the Flames. Rama, he had a beeline to the basket, and his progress was impeded. And he's shaken up a little bit. Looks like he'll be okay. He's grabbing that left side. Now, yesterday's game, Chris, he was, uh, and Kirk on the foul, that was his third. There was a time where he just sat out and he was just holding his chest, talking to the trainer. You know, remember, the Colonials hadn't played a game until January 1st, until last night. So just trying to get their legs underneath them and get into Horizon League play. That was a little bit of adjustment, I would imagine. Yeah, Colonials have had six games canceled this year due to COVID-19 protocols. It's blocked out of bounds. Yeah, you're right, you know, trying to get into a rhythm, trying to get into uh, a flow offensively, defensively, uh, coaching through this for, for both teams, uh, Tool and Yaklich, it, it is something that is definitely an adjustment for everyone. The Flames have had four games canceled this season at various points. Uh, Here's Diggins for three. And the rebound, Colonials. You know, and trying to coach through that uh, to practice and then also get in game shape and get into conference game shape. It, it, it's two different things. That's an offensive foul. That's going to be on Brahma. That's going to be his second foul. He saw that at the top of the key. And Brahma was not happy with that call. So neither is uh, Andrew Toole, as you see, the head coach for... Robert Morris. It seems to be a turning point right here in the game where the Flames are up eight, ten minutes left to go. They can really start to put some ground in between them and the Colonials with a couple good offensive possessions. That's off the ball and a foul. That's going to be on Gonadi. That's his first. He just checked in the ball game not too long ago. So Tracy's in and Ferris is out for Robert Morris. Flames looking to go seven and four, and then two series on the road back to back, and that's an offensive foul. So the Colonials will have possession. That's Bridges, that's his second, and here comes Rob Howard now in for UIC. You know, similar to last night, Chris, you know, Colonial's hanging around. You know, don't turn this game off. This is interesting because the, the Colonial's, once again, just missing that three-point shot. They've only attempted nine, two for nine for three. Tracy, over the top to Brahma. That goes for not. And Tracy... Or are the Williams to uh, reset? They try it again with Brahma and a whistle. The first attempt from Brahma, it didn't hit the rim, so there's about nine seconds left on the shot clock when Tracy was looking for Brahma for the second time. Missed there, you see the rebound. Brahma calling for a foul. But you're right, you know, we look at the way this game is kind of gone and we look back to last night's action the Flames winning 67-53 mm -hmm. they are hanging around 
and they're going to have to do it close to the basket because three-point shooting has not been at their advantage over the course of this weekend. They've hit two threes tonight. They hit one three-point shot last night. Flames defense excellent against the three-point shot. Look at the foul trouble there on your screen for the UIC Flames and for the Colonials. Rama knocks down the free throw. Bonatti sits down Spear back in the ball game for Robert Morse. Along with Chris Bleck and Joe Brand, Jonathan Hood with you for Horizon League basketball as the Flames up 49 to 43. Inside it goes to Howard, blocked out of there by Spear. Here come the Colonials. Williams will stop and pop and got it. Traden Williams, a freshman from Charlotte, with the basket. He's got four, and it's 49-45 UIC. Williams had eight points, five rebounds last night. That was a smooth play and transition for the Colonials. Commander on the baseline. They swing it to a hail, now in the corner, and Commander. Diggins with 10 to shoot. Backing in. Spinning. Putting it up, and a foul called on the Colonials. Should be the third on Brahma. 16 fouls on Colonials, and Diggins will go to the foul line. You see the confidence, Chris, rising on Diggins, and four points, two rebounds, does not tell the story of how he's played as of late. Uh, in the two losses against Purdue, Fort Wayne, you saw some tremendous production from Diggins, and you saw it again last night against uh, the Colonials, but you can see that he is really looking for his shot, Diggins. I had to laugh last night at the end of the game when Joe Brand got a chance to interview Michael Diggins on the court. Mm -hmm. Did you uh, hear what he said about how Coach Luke Yaklich told him that, you know, even though he has a nice shot, he can make it 1% better? Sure. And, and the, the issue Michael Diggins was having on his jump shot was if he doesn't have his thumb on the ball, it's a better shot without that. Spear wide open for the dunk. And I, I love that. Just make it 1% better. Try and get better each and every day. And that's the message from Coach Yaklich. And it's what Michael Diggins told Joe Brand last night at the end of the game. Look out now. It's a two-point advantage for UIC. Kirk, a hail for three. Rebound Tracy. Here come the Colonials with momentum. Wilbon tries to get an alley-oop pass inside to Spear. Foul called on the Flames. And a timeout on the floor. 7.57 left here for the ball game. Don't go anywhere, Flames. This is Robert Morris trying to get to 500 and 3-2 and two overall in the conference play. UIC wants to continue their momentum from last night. At the foul line for Robert Morris is Khalil Spear, the 6'7", junior from Texas. Free throw is good. He'll have another opportunity to tie the game with another free throw. Can you see the momentum shifting here, Chris, for the Colonials? It's been led by their defense. Uh, the last four or five possessions defensively, the Colonials have really stepped it up and made life tough for the UIC Flames. We'll see if Tavion Kirk and the UIC Flames offense can get going here. Kirk with 13.6 rebounds on tonight's contest. 49-48 Flames. Howard. Now Kirk will reset with 10 to shoot. Kirk spins in the lane. Howard for three. Swish! Howard knocks down the three. The bailout three, and it's 52-48 UIC. We talked about Rob Howard's three-point shooting earlier in the game. Coming into tonight, he's eight for nine. Now he's nine for 11 from deep. Rob Howard for three. Williams trying to get inside to Spear. He does so. Spear against Wiley. Foul called on Wiley. Jacob Wiley playing good defense there as he's trying to stop the inbounds pass of the paint. And then once it was there, let's take a look on the offensive side. Rob Howard bailing out the Flames. Three point shot. 88% from three here on the season for Rob Howard. How about that? Pretty good. Rama checking in momentarily for the Colonials. 
in and out for a spear. Wilbon will sit down, and here comes Brahma. Arbor Morris, Chris, as we mentioned earlier, tournament tested team when they were part of the Northeast Conference, four times in the NCAA tournament since 2009. Free throw is good. It all comes from Andrew Tool. Yeah, Andrew Tool. They would have made the tournament last year if there was an NCAA tournament, which there wasn't because of COVID-19. This is a good team. They went 20 and 14 last year, 13 and five in the Northeast Conference. Now here in the Horizon League. Howard in the lane. Traveling call on Howard. A turnover and now Robert Morris with possession. Flames with 10 turnovers tonight. Nice pick. Here comes Kirk. Tavion Kirk will give it inside to Wiley. And a foul call. It was a late whistle, but it was a foul call. That's going to be on Spear. Spear had the ball. Wiley was on the ground. Possession arrow changed, and then the foul was called. Take a look at Wiley going up, gets hit on the hand by Beer. Wiley goes to the line. So Jacob Wiley, the 6'7 senior from Houston. Two from the line. 53 49 Flames. Spear against Howard. Tracy down the lane and it's tipped in by Brahma. So Brahma in the right spot. He has got 18. And again, a two-point advantage for the Flames. It was too easy for Tracy. Tracy has four points, seven assists on the night, but he was able to get right to the basket. He missed the layup. Bramo was there to clean it up. Kirk looks for the opening, and he finds Howard for the slam. High elevation for Big Rob Howard, and the Flames up 55 51. Kirk leads the team in assists. Beautiful pass to find Howard there. He drew in the defense and was able to find Howard on the baseline. Tracy looking for the seam. Tip back in by Brahma. Brahma's got, hey, look at this, Chris. Yep. Brahma's got 20 and 10 tonight. There's, those are his numbers. <laughs> he is lethal as a scorer in, in the last two possessions, just cleaning up the trash around the basket. Offensive rebounds, tip-ins by Brahma. Diggins inside to Wiley. And a whistle. Foul will be assessed to Spear. That's his third foul. Here's a foul situation, Chris. We've got the Flames have a Hale with four, Howard with three, Kirk with three, Wiley with three, Bridges with two, Diggins with three. And for the Colonials, four for Bain and four for Sumnik. Three for Brahma. As it is Bain checking in to replace Spear. Wiley missed the first free throw here. The Flins are now 13 for 24 from the foul line. The Colonials are 17 for 23, shooting 74%. Got to keep our eye on the foul shots here down the stretch run of this contest. There's a tie up there, and, and the possession arrow will go to the Flames. So Bain was on the floor, but the possession arrow goes to UIC. Here's Bridges to replace Wiley. Under five to play, the Flames with a two-point lead.
Kirk to inbound. There's Diggins backing in on the shorter Williams. Tipped and volleyed and in to the hands of Brahma. Diggins had the mismatch, kind of forced up that shot though. Would have liked a better opportunity for the Flames on offense. Bain at the top for the Colonials. John Williams on the right wing. Turns the corner, trying to get a pass inside to Brahma and a foul called on the Flames. Good drive and, and pass off by Williams to find Brahma and it was Commander who was able to knock that out of bounds. Last line of defense for the Flames defense. Backside help from Commander. And they're gonna call a foul on Commander. That's his second. So Brahma goes to the line. Brahma 20 points and 12 rebounds and two steals. Here comes a hail. Howard will sit down. 4.22 left of the ball game. Flames have not shot the ball well from three either, Chris. I mean, at four for 16 and 25%, but just, you know, two for nine for the Robert Morris Colonials. Did not shoot it well last night. Yeah, it's just about attempts and opportunities. Here's Commander. 10 to shoot for the Flames. Four minutes left in the ball game. Diggins to Kirk, the rainbow three. Rebound, Brahma. On the season, the Colonials giving up 76 points per game on defense. Right now, the Flames stuck at 55. Really giving a good effort here in the last 10 minutes of this contest defensively for the Colonials. Bain down the lane. Rebound commander. Kirk against Williams. Kirk to the basket, blocked by Bain. Here comes Williams. Inside it goes, the layup is no good for Tracy in the rebound UIC. Here come the Flames in transition. Kirk to Diggins on the inside. Diggins against Brahma. The sweeping right-handed hook, no. And a whistle. Flames cannot buy a bucket over the course of the last couple of minutes. And a timeout on the floor. Flames with a one. In scoring, A.J. Brahma leads the Colonials 21 points, 13 rebounds in 33 minutes for Robert Morris. Bridges with eight points tonight, along with three rebounds for UIC at the foul line. Free throw is missed, and the rebound controlled by the Colonials. Brahma, his hands in the right place, and now the Colonials will set up their offense. Flames haven't scored in 232 of game time. Spear to Tracy on the give and go. Tracy spins on. And now the jumper is short by Williams. It goes out of bounds. Yeah, Michael Diggins isn't quite arguing against that. Let's take a look at this. Gets his hand up. Yeah. Yeah, he got some of that. Eight to shoot. Tracy from the corner. Missed that three. Brahma right there for the rebound. And the Colonies will reset. Traden Williams got on there, got in there to tip that to Brahma. Collect that offensive rebound. Brahma is taken out of there by the Flames and Diggins. Here comes Kirk. Kirk loses the handle right back in the hands of Brahma. Timeout, Tool. 209 left for the ball game, and the Flames up one. How does this end? Find out next on ESPN. Defensive grit. Then he looked at Michael Diggins and said, I need you to box out and get a big rebound. Also, guys, I, I think if they get a stop here, they might call for a timeout and set up a new offensive play. All right, Joe, thank you. John Hood and Chris Bleck with you at courtside. Flames with a one-point lead, trying to get a two-game winning streak 
started here with a win tonight. Trying Res to get to seven and four. Resolving grit was a big theme last night in the postgame presser from Luke Yaklich. Looking for it again tonight. Williams inside the spear for the dunk. 56-55, Robert Morris. Under two to play. Kirk to Commander on the left side. Howard finds an open Diggins for three. Rebound John Williams. Is that that was, kind, of, that kind of tournament feel, doesn't it, when you have back-to-back -back games like this? Absolutely, and that was the right play from Howard to find Diggins in the corner for the three. Unfortunately, it didn't go. Now the Flames need that grid. They need a defensive stop here. John Williams now to Tracy. Tracy down the lane, loops up a shot, missed it, and a foul called on UIC. I hope it's coming across on TV because Jonathan, you know, sitting here courtside as we take a look at Tracy getting up to the basket. You're right, the tournament deal is coming from the teams themselves. It's coming from the benches, cheering, yelling defensive stops, getting up and cheering on their teammates here at Creighton Union One Arena, both teams, Robert Morris and UIC. I was called on Howard as his fourth. As you see the game trends here, it's been that close. Tracy to the foul line here. Dante Tracy, the junior from Orlando. Misses him. And a whistle. The foul's going to be called on the Colonials. This is big. This is where the, the Flames are going to have to hit foul shots. They've been held scoreless in the last 428 of game action. As Robert Morris has climbed back into this game. Michael Diggins will go to the foul line, and the Flames tonight are 13 of 26 from the free throw line. That's the fourth foul on Brahma. Diggins hits the free throw. Tied at 56. You mentioned Brahma picking up his fourth foul. He has a monster game working right now. 21 points, 15 rebounds. Second free throw is missed. Rebound Brahma. One minute left here for your ball game. And we're tied at 56. Williams at the top. Tracy in the right wing. Trying to get it into Spear. He does so. Timeout, Yaklich. 44 and 9, 10 seconds left. And we're tied at 56. There's your timeout that Joe talked about. So now if you're Luke Yockley. Offense, and we'll see if the Flames are three timeouts. I uh, call a timeout off of this defensive possession as well. So it's going to be John Williams the inbound for the Colonials. Williams will look and look. Got it into Tracy. Seven, six, five. Brahma on the right wing. Tracy flings up a three and it hit the backboard. That's a shot clock violation. Flames basketball. Great D by the Flames. They had Brahma stuck about 35 feet out from the basket. 0.9 seconds left over if the Flames were to use their entire offensive possession. So Dickens is going to inbound for UIC. There you go. 34.9. Kirk at the controls for the Flames. Kirk into the front court for UIC. Kirk against Trayton Williams. Diggins on the right wing. 10 to shoot. Here we go to Kirk. Five to shoot for the Flames. Kirk. Now the baseline, offensive foul. Offensive foul, Flames. A turnover, and it's going to be Colonials basketball. They call the foul on Tavian Kirk. Let's watch that off arm, yep. the little push off Clear before out. he made the turnaround, Jay. Tied at 56 with 7.1 left. One timeout for Robert Morris. Tipped out, it's going to stay. 
Colonials basketball with 6.4 left in regulation. Brahma inbound to Tracy. Tracy into the front court. Tracy for the pass. And the jumper is no good for Williams in the corner. And we go to overtime. Overtime here in Chicago. Tied at 56. Can the Flames win this one? Find out next right here as you're watching. I love Second half offensively credit the defense of the Colonials. Uh, Flames fans, we're missing you here. The band and the UIC dance team and everyone else that usually is, comes to home games. But hopefully you're uh, enjoying our broadcast. We'll see if the UIC Flames can get their seventh victory here. Overtime for the Flames and the Colonials. Kirk had that key foul down the stretch with time running down. And now the Flames are in overtime trying to battle and win this one. Howard with a sweeping right-handed hook, and it's a beauty, and it's 58-56 UIC. Steady as she goes. The Flames need a basket. They kick off overtime, and they go to Rob Howard down low for a sweeping hook. Tracy inside, blocked at the rim as Bramo's trying to get there, and here come the Flames. Flames up two here in overtime. Kirk down the lane. Uh, Hale will swing it to Commander. Inside Howard. Howard spins, turns, and the hook is a beauty. Rob Howard with the basket. 60-56 UIC. Back to back. Hit him with it. The hook from Rob Howard, and the Flames really taking advantage of the big man down low on the Colonials. Williams for the Colonials. Puts up a three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound commander. Flames up four here in overtime. Commander against Tracy. Commander loses the handle out of bounds. That's going to stay UIC basketball. What, 14 to shoot? Tracy and the recovery after Commander beat him off the dribble, able to knock that out of bounds. It's a set the defense once again. Kirk to inbound for the Flames. Looking at the Commander in the left corner. Howard again. He's got the hot hand. Howard in the lane. Goes up, misses. Ball on the floor loose. It's Tracy and Commander. And a jump ball. Possession arrow goes to the Colonials. Three straight possessions for the Flames out of the overtime break there. All down to Rob Howard down low. He missed the layup on that one, but he also battled hard. I would imagine as long as he can stay in the game, that's something that Coach Luke Yaklich has to keep going to. Rob Howard down low for the Flames. 18 points on the contest. Trayden Williams, Tracy on the baseline. Trying to get a pass inside, taken away by the Flames. Here comes Diggins. Diggins spins. Now to Commander. They swing it to Howard. Howard in the free throw circle. A hail to Commander and they'll reset. 15 to shoot for UIC. Up 60 to 56 here in overtime. Commander. There's Diggins at the top with five to shoot. Howard, turnaround jumper, no. Goes out of bounds. It'll be Robert Morris basketball. Flames claim he was tipped. That's going to be Colonials basketball. Two thirty-two left here for the first overtime. I think even if this was a full house, you'd hear D. Brown yelling on the sidelines. <laughs> Wilbon, uh, Tracy. 15 to shoot for Robert Morris. Tracy, turn around, off the glass, and good. Difficult shot. That's six points for Tracy tonight. Flames with a two-point advantage. Two minutes left in the first overtime. Kirk looks to pass. He does so to Commander. Kirk on the baseline. Turn around. Jumper is good. 
Kirk with the basket. 62-58 UIC. Ahead to Wilbon. Inside off the glass. No and a whistle. That might be it for Howard. Good job by the Colonials to push it ahead. Transition to catch. Flames looking for a win number seven on the season. Defeated Robert Morris yesterday looking to sweep out the series here tonight. To the foul line is Wilbon. And the free throw is good. Thirty-four percent shooting for Robert Morris, and as Chris and I talked about, just fifteen percent from three. Second free throw was good. Wilbon will sit down, and Sumnik is in the ball game now for the Colonials. Sixty-two, sixty, UIC with the lead. Commander against Tracy on the right side. 90 seconds left in the first overtime. A hail to Commander at the top. 10 to shoot. Commander, down the lane he comes. It's blocked, out of bounds. With seven to shoot, UIC will retain possession. Sumnik over the top with the block as Commander penetrates nice through the lane. Sumnik right there, knock that out of bounds. Seven left on the shot clock. 119 left here for the first overtime. Kirk finds Bridges, and now a three. Shot's no good for Commander. Here's Trayton Williams. Sumnik. Now John Williams on the left wing. Trayton Williams on the right wing. Rahm on a give and go to Tracy. Tracy from the free throw circle. The jumper is no good. Rebound, Bridges. Big defensive stop by the Flames. Flames up two, under one to play. T. Kirk. Timeout. So Yaklich calls a timeout there. 62-60 UIC with the lead. Chris, did you like the timeout at that spot with 15 left? It could Four for 19 from three. They're just trying to hold on here for their seventh victory of the season. I'm sure Luke Yaklidge will talk about the foul shooting as you documented, Chris. 14 for 28. 37-7 left in the first overtime. Tracy with the foul on Commander. Well, you mentioned the foul shooting just now, Jonathan, and here's a chance for Morris Commander to step to the foul line and make this a two-possession basketball game. Well, Commander tonight, 11 points and eight rebounds. Knocks it down. Here comes Wiley, and Bridges will sit down. Wilbon comes in for Robert Morris. Sixty four, sixty UIC. Thirty two seconds left. Wilbon inside and a foul call. As Brahma's trying to get to the basket. That foul's going to be on Michael Diggins. That's his fourth foul. 27.6 left on the clock. Brahma's made 9 of 12 from the foul line tonight. 21.16 rebounds. Brahma with his first. We'll have another 27.6 left. Two clutch free throws there by Commander, right? Absolutely. Cool, calm, collected. Buries those free throws. As the next free throw in, here comes Bridges for UIC to replace Jacob Wiley. 
Flames with a two-point advantage. So Commander, a hail. those are the players you want. The ball in their hands. We're going to have to shoot free throws down the stretch. Diggins gets it across the timeline. Commander to Diggins. Back to Commander, and now the foul is assessed. Big foul there by Wilbon. Flames didn't like that. Foul on Wilbon. So commander to the foul line. You want to foul earlier if you are tooling that spot, don't you? Well, it's tough. I, I think the idea was they were hoping that Tavion Kirk would get the ball. He's only shooting 56% from the foul line this season. Commander, commander. Commander's been good. Coming into tonight, 5 of 5 from the foul line. He's now 6 of 8 from the foul line today. Uh, he's a good foul shooter. So I, I think, and Diggins is an 80% foul shooter. So I think Robert Morris was hoping that the ball somehow found a lower percentage foul shooter. Both free throws are good. 66-62 UIC and the first overtime. 13 seconds left. Robert Morris has two timeouts, but Tracy goes to the basket and a foul call. Jacob Wiley went straight up. That's his fourth foul. So Wiley on the foul. You never know what can happen. You know, the Flames could have missed a couple of free throws. Thank goodness they didn't, but you know, it could happen. Robert Morris also got into overtime because on that final possession, they didn't call their final timeout. So Tracy to the foul line for Robert Morris and the free throws missed. Now you kind of have to miss this and hope you can get an offensive rebound. Hope that A.J. Brahmam can uh, get in there, get a rebound, get fouled, make a three-point play. Tracy tried to make it and missed it anyway. Wilbon, and inside it wow. goes to Brahma. No, tipped in the air. It's on the floor, and a foul on the Colonials as Diggins was digging it out. What did we just say? It, it almost worked to perfection there for the Colonials. Flames get it. Back to the foul line. Chance to extend this lead. And take it home as Wilbon is on the foul there. So Diggins will go to the foul line for UIC. 2.6 seconds left. Diggins misses the first. Here comes Wiley to replace Braylon Bridges. One timeout left for Robert Morris. Second free throw is missed. Colonials will put up a long three by Williams, and the Flames win in overtime. Flames win 66 to 62. Flames get their seventh victory of the season with a win against Robert Morris and a sweep up.